During an international break, there isn't much club football on. So I thought today I'd get an Uber driver to decide my next football match out of the available Tuesday night fixtures. Now, later on, we're watching England versus Ukraine. But first, we've got to get an Uber and see out of the Tuesday night fixtures. It's National League. There's a one League One game, maybe two League Two games. But we're going to decide from the Uber driver which game we're going to be going to. Let's go find out. I'm going to say Farringdon. It's only two stops on the Metropolitan Line. And you must be wondering why I'm going to be doing it. £10.93 for literally a 10 minute journey. Let's just do it. Okay, so we've got the driver, Imran. Imran, you're going to be deciding my game, mate. Let's hope he takes me somewhere nice and not Gateshead. I'll see that they are on there. They're up in Newcastle, for goodness sake. Here it is. Imran, here he is. But before we get into the Uber, if you're not subscribed to my channel, then what are you doing? Hit that red subscribe button and leave a like on this video. Let's get back to it. I got into the Uber and instantly thought this could be a struggle engaging a conversation. But my idea was for me to show the fiction list and scroll until he clicks onto a game. But first I had to ask the most important question. Do you like football, sir? No, I don't like. You don't? No. But in some ways this was a good thing because he didn't have a clue which one to choose on which made it so much more random. Would you mind uh, deciding which football game I go to? Because I have no idea which one to go to. You can pick any, literally just, just like anyone. You can just put your finger on any game and I will go to. Any of them. Ooh. Maidstone. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll go to that one. I'll screenshot that. Perfect. See you later, my friends. Maidstone versus Bromley. I've just checked the table. Bromley are ninth. Maidstone are bottom of the league. It's going to be an experience, but the Uber driver decided, so I've got to do it. It is game day. This is some commitment for a National League game. We are back in the whip. The journey starts here. Three hours to Maidstone because the Uber driver decided. It is also raining very heavily right now, so hopefully the game doesn't get called off. But nevertheless, let's get to Maidstone. Oh, and here we are, Maidstone. Tell you what, staying at a nice hotel, £88 for the hotel, match ticket £19, and then a petrol, what, about 50 quid. So it's an expensive one for Maidstone. So the Uber driver, I wish he was taking me for the cheap. I may have to take advantage of the pool, sauna, gym. I'll tell you another thing, the hotel room is not too bad whatsoever. Double bed, it's got a little sofa here, TV, desk to work on and edit. Like, this is perfect. Maidstone so far, I love this place. But a football stadium I haven't actually been to yet either, so it's a new ground tick. Enough for the hotel, it's all about the game now. Maidstone at bottom of the league, they needed three points today. That was easy enough then. Stadium, you see the floodlights in the distance, we're here. I am well hungry as well, I've not eaten all day other than lunch. And I think I'm ready for a burger, hot dog, you name it. I'm gonna have everything today on the menu. All this way for non-league. It's what I do, three hours for the channel, the Uber driver in ran. I listen to him simply. But at the end of the video, I'm gonna rank the food, I'm gonna rank the atmosphere, I'm gonna rank the stadium, I'm gonna rank it all at the end, so keep watching. Which way am I gonna go, home fans, away fans? I'm with the home fans. Adult price, 19 quid. I'll tell you what, for non-league, I think they should be bumping the prices down a bit. The price is a bit too high. Here we go, Maidstone. Never thought I'd be here on a Tuesday night, but here I am. Nice stadium, it's all right. Put on the league, it actually does the job, it's not too bad. That is exactly what I need right now though. Get me some food, get me some drink, I need it. Here there's a club shop as well. So here's the divide between the home and away fans. Bromley, I guess, on the right side. It's quite hard to tell right now, but it should be a lively atmosphere behind the goal there. That double cheese and bacon burgers iron me up massively. Thank you very much, cheers. Oh, hello. It's all about the main event of this. The players are walking out, but... I cannot wait to get stuck into this. I'm going to demolish this. I'll give you a spoiler in the video. The Uber driver decided the game and here we are, Maidstone Bromley. Tell you what, the atmosphere looks like it's been really good between these two sets of fans. On the right is definitely Bromley, the left is Maidstone. We could go over there to be fair. We have kicked off and Maidstone really need to win it. Here we go. This actually could be 1-0 Maidstone here. Eh? Oh, probably spoke too soon now. One thing I love about this all as well is look how close you are to the action in non-league. It's what you want to be as a football fan, you want to be this close to the action. You can be that close to the bench and dug out if you want to as well. It's just perfect in non-league, I love it. This is it, this is it, this is actually it. Oh! Come on. Come on. Oh, oh, look at the scenes over here, but this is where it's at. This is what non-league brings you, this close to the action. Unbelievable, that's what you love to see. They're one up bottom of the league. Hey. 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 And there you go, 1 0 to the bottom of the league side. The magic of non league being this close to the action and that close to the players as well. Here we go. Oh, oh! Not a chance. Oh, that's gone. There it is. The way this stadium is built, I bet a lot of balls get lost around here. 
I have no idea how Bromley have not made it 1-1 now. I know I've just eaten, but it's close to half time and I may have to get some more chips. I just may have to. Yeah, we're going here. More chips, more chips. It's the dessert time. Dessert is chips. Thank you very much. Cheers. I am becoming a regular at this place. And there is the equaliser. It was coming. They were dominant and attacking. Has brought them level here, 1-1. What is it with me and my food? It's 2-1 Bromley now. It is 2-1 Bromley. We've switched it around. I've just been eating. And Bromley have scored too. The scenes when I went in though, unbelievable from Bromley. I can't believe I've yet again missed that goal because I'm just being a fat <laughs> All I'm doing is eating and I've just missed two goals. I'm changing sides. I'm going behind the goal where the atmosphere is between the Bromley fans and obviously Maidstone. See what the atmosphere is like. The atmosphere has been very decent, I must say. And being amongst it right now, we can see what it's really like. I bet it's very hostile between the two fans in between the sections, but we've got to see for ourselves now in the second half. Second half. Uh, two, two. And the fans. Maystone equalised to make it 2-2 and this has been one of the most entertaining games I've watched this season. Saved. Stop. It's a red card. Red card. I'm Bromley a dance time, man. It's a big opportunity for bottom at least. I may so go on and get the three points here. Only two minutes left to go in the 90 minutes. Thank you, Imran, for taking me on Maidstone. You were the one who decided my football game and we've ended up here. And you know what? Four goals. The food's been great. The football's been great and the atmosphere, I'll tell you what, has been great as well. Oh, oh my god, they've won it. They've won it in the 90th minute. In the last seconds of the game, it's only just dropped into the 90th minute and Bromley have won the game 3 2. What is it with the mentality of these Maystone players? They've lost it again. I was playing so well. 19 pounds for the ticket, I thought it was a bit of a stretch, but I've definitely got my uh, money's worth for this game. Now it's full time. What a game of football that was for non league. Been a great time here. Good game of football, five goals, two red cards. Can't exactly complain. The food was unbelievable, a straight 8 out of 10. The stadium I like for the standard, but it's Astro, so I'm going to say 5 out of 10. And finally, the atmosphere. Bearing in mind it's non-league, I'm giving it a 7 out of 10. Maidstone, you've been amazing.